So once again, very good day to everybody. So this is uh, IFT, Intermodal Freight Transportation. And in this class, we will understand the basic terms and concepts used in freight transport. There are several terms that are available. I am going to give you more important terms in this class. And uh, of course, the actors in a transport system. Then we discuss about the demand as well as the supply for the freight transport. So this is especially for you, my dear students and younger researchers, and you can reach me at dr.christoranand.com. Before beginning any session, you should never, ever, ever, ever forget to thank God. Okay, so uh, just thank God for giving us good food, good health, fully grown hands, fully grown legs as well. Okay, as for me, I thank God for giving me this golden opportunity to deliver this useful session to share my knowledge among my fellow national international participants, students and young researchers. So in this class, we will understand the basic terms and concepts in freight transport, the actors in the transport system, okay, what are the principal components and we define the value chains. Okay. So here we go with the forward as well as backward participation, then about the bulk commodities, about the types of value chains and of course I will be giving you the assignment one or what you call it to be independent work one in the Google Classroom. Okay, So please submit them as soon as possible. As uh, normally in other classes, I will be giving five independent works and open ended project work I will give. But I don't know how far you will do. So I am giving you five independent works. Out of the five independent works, the first independent work I will be asking you to give a presentation speech. Because I would like to get something from you. Okay, what is your level? How you can do it? Okay, right? So that I will be asking, and at regular intervals, I will be giving you some short videos to discuss the knowledge in our topics. Right? So we start up with some basic concepts, uh, nothing but accessories. Okay, so it's nothing but uh, like uh, you transport uh, maybe cargo or maybe machinery, machinery from one part to another from one country to another or maybe from one region to another region. So there are some uh, basic terms, basic concepts that you should know about it. Okay. So this is accessories, okay. Accessories, accessories, the basic items that are needed for end-to-end -end transportation, you call it to be accessories or maybe accessories. Okay. So this one you can call, uh, uh, you can call this to be special equipment or maybe devices that you can use it for pickup and delivery as well from one end to another end you are going to take and you are going to leave them okay so these are the basic uh, items that you should uh, use it and maybe for picking up you can give for the lift gates as well and you can deliver at ease and then you have adjustments so for the shipment for the delivery okay from one part to another part or maybe one end to another end, you have the cost that is associated for the delivery of this shipment associated. Okay. So this cost can be uh, for the discrepancy between the freight characteristics for the weight, for the class, for the dimensions, maybe one, one particular packet, okay, it will be having a uniform size, maybe one in an irregular shape. Okay. Uh, like uh, 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 some parts of the country, they will be sending you know, in irregular shape as well. So according to the size, according to the dimensions, according to the weight, okay, according to the class, maybe they are offering in the business class, maybe they are offering at a very low class. I still remember when I used to uh, uh, when I used to transport the like uh, maybe I took my wife along with in the Middle East country. I transported. Uh, I delivered the cargo from uh, Bahrain to India. It came after one month and there were several pieces that are broken. We paid for it and uh, what to do? But uh, some clothes okay, got saved, okay, but these uh, more breakable items, of course, it broke. Okay, and we couldn't do about it. Okay, so that was the thing. Okay. So, of course, there are costs incurred because we are paying charges, okay, for the delivery. Of course, for the transportation also, crossing the toll gates also, across the country also, 
there have been uh, cause everything was added and finally everything like the most of the parts were broken and uh, uh, everybody in the family scolded me okay <laughs> this thing happened okay but we didn't know okay so for additional services also we use lift gate uh, procedure as well so these are the costs associated for the adjustments and then agent okay so this is a third party maybe for the company uh, with the uh, full authority or maybe restricted authority or maybe limited authority we will be giving at to the customs or maybe agents okay so they will have proper paper or the hard copy procedures documentation procedures electronic media procedures as well so for transferring between one to another we give it through an agent and the agent will do the things for us okay so the person will receive a portion of the monetary gain that is what happened to me and uh, uh, definitely it, it, it failed but i cannot say it is a failure for all the cases okay some places which do not have recognized uh, recognized uh, uh, procedures will definitely uh, fail through this thing okay right and then you have axle uh, load okay so it is nothing but the weight that you put it on the axle okay for the national highways okay some kind of weight that you try to add and then back on okay so maybe you are going to and fro so across the return trip to and then fro back okay maybe if you have to ship the cargo or maybe materials from one end to another end not from the first part but reception part i am talking about okay so this is the return trip of the truck transporting cargo or maybe freight okay so maybe the maybe on the return of a maybe two way even you can say in the flight trip also two way there is some discount okay discount to secure the freight return on the return okay you can get a discount for it so this is the back half okay right and then beneficial owner you will have specific rights that are associated just like consumer has rights even for delivery also there are specific property rights as well that you can own and you can actually claim for it the most difficult situation is the covid during the covid nobody had any clue about what is happening huh before the covid everything went well after the covid during the covid everything problem okay so here also we have specific property rights also that you can claim for it okay during the delivery okay so even though the legal title of the property belongs to another person you can actually claim for it i can very well uh, uh, relate this with the paypal as i told you i deal with international transactions so normally everybody will be paying in the paypal so one guy he paid one chinese one chinese he paid uh, not chinese not chinese african one african paid uh, uh, via paypal to the atom for the publication we were very busy i was in india during that time we had tour kon bairam okay uh, i uh, we we didn't we didn't know what was happening and after that he got very angry he made a a small complaint to the paper and he actually withdrew the paper withdraw the paper if you withdraw the paper means he need not have to pay the processing charges okay so he actually made a complaint out of this one and uh, uh, the complaint came uh, i uh, it came uh, uh, to us so i said if he wants to withdraw no problem okay uh, so paper will be sending one one official notification would you like to object to it okay then i said no i am not objecting to it he did the and that's fine okay so this is how you have some rights associated for the transportation also so of course it is coming to us okay so whenever we are it is not my money because that person actually withdrew withdraw the paper withdraw the offer but i have rights also to claim for it or maybe to reject also 
okay so everybody everything has some specific rights with regard to, with regards to property and you should actually claim for it okay right so maybe for the rail or maybe ocean or maybe sea transportation also uh, regarding to the actual owner of the freight being ship you can actually claim for it if it is really really genuine otherwise you cannot you you can straightly object to it and maybe the other person would be claiming to it okay so this is the property rights for the uh, concern uh, consignment or shipment in case uh, the person uh, like immediately they have to do it immediately they have to do it like uh, okay wait for four days because if the procedure uh, it is two step three step procedure we are paying okay as a as a consumer we are paying for the payment we are paying extra commission it is going through the process maybe 3 days and after that within that 3 days period if i feel i am not okay with it for, so for example i am uh, submitting my paper somewhere somewhere else then i can say no no i don't want withdraw so during that period paypal maybe would have transferred to my account then from the paypal it would revert back okay from the uh, paypal account to my bank account it should not be credited before that you should make the withdrawal process otherwise difficult so you should act very soon so even in this uh, uh, you know this uh, procedure as well beneficial owner as well you can do as well right and then bill of lading okay so it's a legally binded contract between the shipper and the carrier okay between the shipper and the broker between the shipper and the agent okay for defining the arrangement with regards to freight shipping okay so what what is actually being shipped and from whom you are going to send it you are sending a simple courier you are sending a simple courier have you sent courier Yeah, yeah. Okay, you use courier, right? Yeah. Even in India also we use courier. Yeah. Yeah. What are you sending? They will ask. Yeah. Sometimes even people take the paper and see what is there inside. Yes. Okay, and you cannot say no to it. Okay. Even for consignment also, they they will check and for whom it will be uh, you are going to deliver, and they will verify the identity also. They are very smart. They are very clever enough. Because people nowadays situations are not good as what you think. Okay, so this is the bill of lading. Everything has to be a direct contract. Okay, and then blocking and then bracing. Okay, so it is nothing but supports that you try to give. Okay, and for expert shippers, maybe in order to get control about their entire freight process. you can go for blocking and then bracing okay so you can trade okay for example i am sending one uh, cargo from one place to another place where it is actually going today october 10 it is in this process october 12 it is in this process why it is not going in this time why there is a particular delay you can actually ask for a consumer right that is your right Okay, so this is what you call to be blocking and raising, and you can secure your freight uh, uh, shipment as well. Right, okay. and then blind shipment. Okay, for example, the shipper and the receiver are not aware; they do not know what is actually happening. That is blind shipment. Okay, right. So in such cases, what actually happens? Bill of lading. Bill of lading. The contract will be. the evidence solid evidence for what you are going to send okay right so that will be for the shipper also for the receiver also after freight shipment okay right bogey rail shipping okay so frame with wheels on which you are going to pass the container okay over the road okay so this is bogey normally in terms of the uh uh the air transport you can use road transport as well for railways okay. then brokerage license okay so same like the contract that, uh, that is nothing but a legally required document as well for uh, air or maybe uh, shipment or ship or maybe rail okay whatever maybe it is a legal uh, 
a document that will have the signatories of the design authorities and you are going to make the uh, a, a shipment process uh, more transparent as well okay because the shipment you can send it directly or you can send it uh, through broker or through agent also so whatever may be it should be transparent it should be open so that is the brokerage license so brokerage license you can also give it for the non vessel carrier uh, uh, thing also so maybe for the indirect air carrier you can also make it as a license and you can make this procedures even more transparent as well again i am telling you these procedures have to be transparent have to be open okay so either you pass it through the direct way or through the agent or through any third party which means your document should be very very clear enough okay so this has been given through the international air transport association iata so that is actually giving all this uh, recommendations and guidelines and this is how you are going to follow okay and then bulk freight okay bulk freight means uh, whatever is not coming into the sizes whatever it is not coming under the dimensions it is actually bulk freight okay additional even in flight also you have this procedure 23 plus 7 igrama uch a kilo from india to uzbekistan is the allowed baggage and yetta kg hand baggage apart from that you have to send means money okay also sizes should also be definite sizes should also be definite otherwise they will send you have to put the wrapping and all this stuff okay so freight that is not contained within the package or maybe containers you call it to be bulk freight okay maybe bulk freight uh, why it is irregular because you try to include some granular parts some soil okay some Uh, pulses grains and so on liquid also you try to do it would be irregular in shape and definitely you cannot definitely always depend on the air transport you can also uh, go for the shipment shipment definitely will be 